Inside Small making progress after almost two years and weather sensors experiencing issues. Welcome to Mars Report by Vernon. It's been almost two years since the Inside Lander arrived on Mars in November 2018, and one of the most exciting experiments, the Heat Flow and Physical Properties Package, aka the MOL, has been plagued by issues from the beginning. The instrument is responsible for measuring how much heat is still inside the planet and what are the characteristics of its interior. This could help us figure out how planets like Mars and Earth formed in the early solar system, and together with the seismometer, the probe can estimate the size of Mars's core and whether the core is liquid or solid. For that to happen though, it needs to burrow some 5 meters, which has proven to be a major issue, considering we could still see the top of the 40 cm long mole just a few weeks ago. The mole has made significant progress in the last few months. From February, the mole was able to burrow almost completely underground with the help of the robotic arm. This was a little bit risky, as just a tiny error of a few millimeters could cause the arm to damage or sever the tether containing temperature sensors and connecting the mole to the rest of the lander. Once it was so deep that the arm could not help push it any further, a test, dubbed Free the Mole, was performed to see if it can dig on its own. It could not. You see, the digging mechanism on the mole functions somewhat like a pile driver. A motor attached to a gearbox inside the mole slowly compresses and then quickly releases a spring that drives a tungsten hammer against the interior of the mole tip. It relies on friction provided by the terrain to offset the recoil of each stroke. The loose and sandy ground was expected to collapse behind the mole, filling the spaces around it. This would anchor it in the ground, preventing the recoil from the hammer. But since the terrain is less loose than expected, being rigid dirt crust, it needs more of it to hold on to. Based on the previous occurrences of the probe backing up, it looks like the dirt crust is 20 cm thick and there are high hopes that the ground below is more mole friendly. To figure out their next course of action, the team at German Aerospace Center, the DLR, decided to lift the robotic arm. With the top of the probe still sticking out, the team decided to push on the back cap to hopefully drive it completely underground. However, the arm could not fit in the pit. One possible option was to use the blade of the scoop, but this would greatly increase the risk of damaging the tether. Before the team could figure out how to fit the scoop inside the pit safely, they decided to scrape some sand to fill the pit. A 12 cm scrape test was conducted and it was much more effective than anticipated, scraping twice the expected volume of material. Most of the miscalculation was due to the fact that the shovel went much deeper into the ground than planned. The scrape filled the pit almost completely. Not only that, it leveled the differences in height at the edge of the pit, making it easier to place the scoop. Thanks to this, it is possible to compress the soil and use it to transfer the force from the robotic arm to the mole helping it burrow deeper and preventing recoil. On the 28th of August, the mole conducted a series of successful hammer strokes, digging the deepest hole ever dug on Martian surface. For comparison, NASA's Viking 1 lander scooped down to 22 cm, while Phoenix lander reached 18 cm under the surface at the North Pole. Inside's heat probe is currently at a depth of approximately 35 cm, and the goal of the probe is to dig as far as 5 meters, so the mission is far from over. And lastly, Insight's weather sensor, or auxiliary payload sensor suit, stopped sending data on August 16th. A computer issue is suspected, and the team at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory resorted to tried and true technique of turning it off and on again. There is no ETA on when the reset and subsequent diagnosis will be complete. Once done, you can check everyday Martian weather again.